in the vision, I was in a multitude, not a big multitude, but a small crowd. We were waiting for a certain president, an African president, to come and address us. It was like most of the people who were there were journalists, but I happened to be among them. It's a vision. Don't ask me why were you among journalists when you are not a journalist. It's not a real meeting, it's a vision. It was like it's a press conference or something. So most of the people, 90 something percent of the people were there. They, they were, you know, they, they were writing on iPads, doing, having cameras. You could tell that they are journalists in the vision. Hallelujah. And then after a long time of waiting, the leader finally came and he started addressing us. And then I noticed, because I was seated near the front, according to that vision, I noticed something as I looked at that leader, that the leader was not still. The leader was not still. He was speaking like his feature thing. He was not still. He was doing like preachers. Presidents rarely address people moving, moving around like preachers. So he was feature thing, you know. I don't know which word to use. Then all of a sudden, this leader collapsed to the floor. And people just, you know, let off, you know, a sound. People exclaimed. People were shocked. This vision means that there is a prominent and visible African leader who is not feeling well at the present moment. He needs urgent medical attention, rest and recovery. And according to the Spirit of God, this particular leader that I'm referring to, it's not the will of God that he dies in that job. You should hand over power to someone who is relatively younger and stronger. And the, this is a leader who has been ruling his country for more than a decade. So it will assist us to eliminate a lot of people and also to assist those who block on our messages, not to add their own names. They can add other names, but not to add their own names. So it's a person who has been ruling for more than 10 years in his country. Hallelujah. It's actually more than two decades. If I say more than 10 years, it will include a lot of people, but it's a person who has been ruling for more than two decades. You can just check African leaders who have been ruling for more than two decades. One of them is seriously ill. When he appears in public, he pretends all is well. I know who I'm talking about. The, the leader is a strong man, he's a dictator. He's a dictator. I'm talking about a leader who is a dictator. A leader who is the one who is a dictator. You know a dictator? He's yeah. a king who, does, who prefers not to wear a crown. A king that from time to time habitually covers himself, himself with the thick leaves of elections and other things. Thick leaves of elections and other things. You know, fig leaves that Adam and Eve covered themselves with. It's a dictator, and that's, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a leader who is a dictator. He has been ruling his country for more than two decades. He's not well. And the, one of the sicknesses that he has is prostate cancer. It's prostate cancer. That's what I saw in the vision. The prostate was enlarged. It's a very small gland in the privates there of men. It's enlarged now. And the thing is on the verge of spreading in the whole body. They call it a process of metastasizing in medicine there. So according to the spirit of God, this leader should be resting and handing over the pattern to a younger person when he's still energetic. If he doesn't do that, there will be a very serious fight for power. He has got his own thoughts about who should succeed him. But his thoughts, they will not prevail. There are many other people who are waiting in the shadows there. I've seen a very serious fight for power. But if he prepares his succession, 
before he is pushed out by nature from the seat of power, there will be a step to transition from himself to another person. He has got prostate cancer. Those who know the litter that I'm talking about and who interact with the litter that I'm talking about, they will know that the message that I'm speaking, I'm referring to him. The information is hidden from the public, but we can see it when we are praying. Let us stand up and say the grace.